Oh no, friends, I better hurry up. I'm gonna be late. It's almost time for my show. Huh. Huh. Just in time for Max's kitchen. All right, welcome to Max's kitchen, everybody. Today, we're gonna be making some vegetarian chili with a bit of a spooky twist, boys. I don't know if you've noticed, but our ingredients are out today. And I've got some peppers. Now this pepper is grown by my good friend, Cameraman One, and our editor. He's a genius. Don't talk about the, the macaroni episode, though. Don't put this part in. All right, so for the peppers we've got today, I'm pretty sure these are he said these are Thai peppers. These are, you know, ow, 10 points. Next up, we got the big yellow boy, the habanero. These are around 100,000 Scoville. Uh, don't give me a bad day. 15 points. This is a scorpion pepper. I've never had these, so I don't know. And this is a wrinkly. Carolina Reaper that I have also never had. I'm quite terrified. So today we're going to be cooking with these spicy peppers. And also some meat. Because I know this is a vegetarian dish, but we're going to do half meat. We're going to take our enameled pot. Notice how I am refraining from using Teflon. Teflon is for stupid people. We got some chili beans because, well, they are for chili. So they cannot be bad for chili. Throw that in the garbage, who cares? No one's gonna see this. Just empty those beans right up in there, whichever way you feel comfortable. Next up, we got some fire roasted whole corn. It's a blend. This has a pull tab, much, much more courteous of a design. I like to bend them back like this, especially when I'm feeding cats food. That way, if I step on this, I'll definitely fuck my feet up. Throw that in. Next up, we got some peeled plum tomatoes. Cause what's a dish without some tomatoes, am I right folks? And you dump those in too, just, just flop them. Dispose of that can whichever way you please. Today we'll be preparing our peppers. Start by removing the stems just to make the processing a little easier. This is my patented pepper cutting knife. I use it to cut peppers only. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the seeds because I don't I don't hate myself that much, guys. Right now, I'm just getting rid of some of the seeds up in here. Those are hot boys. <laughs> Got a nice hollow habanero. Write a rap song about that APWL. Now we're getting into uncharted territories, boys. All right, so now I'm carving these hot as dick pepper seeds out of the scorpion pepper. Now that we've disemboweled this hot pepper right here, we're gonna move on to this one. This is a scary guy. Almost as scary as that guy I met behind Stop and Shop last week. I don't know what's inside here, boys. Oh, uh, they're very scary looking. They're black. I don't like that. No, yeah, I'm not going to touch my dick for like at least a few hours. Oh. Going to top this one up. Now, if I see a dog on the streets, I think, man, that dog were to fight a kid right now, legally, I'd be obligated to stab that dog to death. I'm gonna wash my hands quickly so I don't give myself chemical burns. Alright guys, I'm gonna try the Scorpion. Cameraman won. He's just tried it. His quoted words were out. Holy fuck. Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Alright. I'm beginning to think this episode was a horrible fucking idea. 
<laughs> okay. I'll get milk. Alright folks, so I'm just cutting up some onion right now. Getting our onion on, guys. Now, like I said, I usually only feed onions to my family, but onions go great in chili. Now you just want to scoop your onions. Do a little dance with it, folks. Get happy. The happier you are with your food, the happier the people are that will be eating your food are. Especially if you put borderline inedible peppers inside of your food. Alright folks, so we're just trying to, you know, back out on some of this pepper talk we're doing by cooking the capsaicin out of our food. <coughs> And apparently into the air, folks. <laughs> We're currently <coughs> gassing ourselves. This is bad. Oh, I feel like I have asthma. <laughs> this is just all part of the charm. <coughs> Cooking homemade chili. Ah! All right, guys. So you know, when you're cooking up your beef, you want to be mindful of the vegetarian cameraman you have around. <coughs> can look at it too much because uh, as you know veg vegetarians don't like to look at meat they don't like it they think it's sickening wrong immoral to eat this type of stuff <clears throat> it's just not good for them to look at it they don't it's not good for their spirits it brings them down so don't show this to your cameramen if they're vegetarian, guys. Don't. Just don't do it. Just slap that in the pan. Honestly, I'm very mad at myself for making this. Uh. <coughs> guys, don't do this at home! <coughs> Because I wouldn't recommend this for home use. I wouldn't call this pleasant. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the uh, to the just Thai chili tips. Top tip. Just add the tips of the Thai chili tips. It's a top tip. What an aroma, guys! Oh man. <laughs> now you won't see this kind of shit on hot ones. Okay, I'm just stirring up the hot peppers right now. I threw some beer in there to try to make it better. And it seems like that was not very effective. Ah! Ah! Cerveza. Cameraman 2, he's not doing very well. He's not used to the spice, guys. Don't introduce your cameraman. Spice they can't handle. So now we're just adding the uh, chili peppers <coughs> to our chili. Get that stuff nice and in there. Man just fucking ran into the, to the fan. Are you okay? Call cameraman, camera two. <laughs>